So what this is showing is the new girl. She comes out of her room, sees my camera, sees my doors open, cracked open, goes back in her room to tell her hubby, boyfriend, whatever. Oh, he's filming us. And then you'll see her come out and go down the steps. Now, it's 5.41 a.m. in the morning now, but this was about 5.26 in the morning. She's been doing this all night. And the only thing that's open are drug dealers this late. There's nothing open in Pottstown uh, from about midnight on. There's the, Even the restaurant shut down. The nearest restaurant uh, that used to be open was up on the hill. See? She's looking at my door. Uh, the only thing I can think of is she's running downstairs to the landlady or there's a crack dealer close by. So that was her at 5.25 in the morning. And I don't know if you can see that, but it, nah, I don't think it. I don't think you can. But it says 5:42 a.m. That's about 10 minutes fast on my computer. I can't. There it is. 5:42. That's actually about five or 10 minutes past. So let me try to get my watch for you to see. But this has been going on all night long since they moved in this afternoon. Up and down the steps, up and down, up and down. So I don't know if they're drunks with the landlady, social drinking drunks. See, that's 5.33. So it's about almost 10 minutes past. Um, yeah, I, I just don't know what to think. And this is day one, so we're going to keep track of this because... And you, you took notice she went back in and told her husband, boyfriend, he told me they were married. His name's Tony, her name's Kim, but I don't believe it. This is the same blonde that uh, Stephen had here, and she's, she was so stumbling drunk so many times, she missed the door and kept walking back the hallway. Now at least she's finding the doorknob, but something's going on here, so...